I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Matthews' Eagles going up against Garcon's Redskins. We're in for Bridget One in Philadelphia as it's off to Lincoln Financial Field to say hello to our veteran broadcasters, Jim Nance and Phil Sims. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Two NFC East teams about to go at it as we join you from Lincoln Financial Field. Hello, friends, and uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for kickoff, and hope you're having a great holiday season. We've got some football coming your way. Yeah, we do. I think these teams, both of them, Jim, when they talk to us, they were not going to let the holiday a spirit or the distraction of the holiday get in the way of preparing and being ready to play today. I think both are ready to put on a good show. Jackson's going to be deep here for the opening kick. The leaders of the NFC East are now set to kick it away and get this much anticipated game started. This game has officially begun. He'll take it from the one. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Griffin's the quarterback. And so far on this season, accuracy has been a struggle at times. His completion percentage, just a little over 50%. Well, listen, it's time for all the talk to stop about Robert Griffin III. Now it's time to see it on the field. I think he's been coached well by the coaching staff now with the Washington Redskins, and he's got to put it together on the field. This guy has an arm that can be one of the best in the NFL. He needs to show it on the field. First down at the 22. Jackson's got it, and a first. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. The Redskins take it from the 38. Morris out to the right. Here's a look at the Redskins offense. This bunch has struggled to find the end zone all year long. One of the lowest scoring teams in the league. Today, they'll try to change that formula. Second down and 10. Will go ground. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Well, but it's third long in a situation like this. I'm going to look at it from the defensive side. You know they're going to be careful, so make sure you come up and just make the tackle so they don't get those yards after the catch or a long run. Third down now. Griffin from the gun. Launching it deep, and they can't connect. Redskins don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Well, Jim, we know this quarterback, he couldn't wait for this game to start today. Not only did they win last week, but it's how he played. He was, hey, there's only one word for it. He was special.
the Redskins go with the dime formation here on defense. First down at the 20. Here's Ertz. Johnson's there to make the stop. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. First down at the 36. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Here's our look at the Eagles lineup on offense. Last week, their aerial attack was in high gear, throwing for over 300 yards. Second down after the incompletion. Murray's going to secure the handoff. Riley's in on the tackle. And now here's the Redskins defense stacks up. They're relentless when it comes to getting to the quarterback this season. Doing a great job all year. Racking up hurries and sacks. The Eagles now on third down. Just a week ago, they converted at a high rate in third down situations. Get ready. Grab 38. The Eagles from the 37. Incomplete. The hit jarred the ball loose. Austin's really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. Ball is out. Well, that's nothing but just, uh, that, that's just luck. That's all you can say. You're the return team. They fumble the football. It bounces out, and they get it back. they lucky there. The Redskins offense will try to buck the trend here as now we'll see if the punting units can stay on the sideline for a little while because defense has been the order of the day here, Phil. Well, Jim, listen, this has been kind of refreshing. I love it that the defenses are dominating. I'm sick of all these rules on the offensive side. So defenses, take advantage of this and keep on rocking. Second down and 11. And it's caught by Jordan Reed. Reed's met at the 23. Nice job that time by the tight end. Makes the catch. And you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember, they're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. Quarterback gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. Third down and six. Scans the field. Griffin over to Garcon. That's his first reception today. All the quarterbacks in the NFL, they'd all be great if they had all day to throw like this. When you give an average quarterback this kind of time, he turns into a great quarterback. And Morris is going to get it from the eye. Here's how the Eagles defense. This is an angry bunch that does not allow anyone to move the football against them, so it seems. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Jones going to take the handoff now. Jones is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle, and now we have fourth down coming up. They're set to punt it away now.
This punt will not be returned. It will never see the field of play as it sails out of bounds. The Redskins defense, Bill, where are they right now mentally after the last time giving up a couple of first downs, but in the end, forcing the punt? Well, they, they feel great. And, I, and I'll give a lot of credit to the coaches on the sideline. I thought they put the players in good positions, and the players took advantage of it. The Eagles take it from the 38. Murray's taken down at the 40. Murray's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Two tight ends on the field here. his hands that incompletion by the quarterback hey I give the quarterback no fault that was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player he's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete on the way third down the Eagles come to the line first down marker is at the 48 they'll go shotgun here Reaches up and grabs it. That's his first reception today. Incredible catch there by the receiver as he goes vertical and comes down with the football and the catch. We see these incredible catches every single week. Right now, the most talented guys in the NFL might be the wide receivers. They can just do everything. Run, jump, run routes, and make these incredible catches. The play clock's running down. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. He's drilled as he throws. That leads us to second down. Let's go. Great 38. They'll go ground. It's got some daylight. Murray's tackled down after a gain of 15. Murray's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The Eagles are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs right. split behind the quarterback. And Sproles gets the football. Has 12 on this play. Sproles is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Eagles from the 22. The pass is thrown to Jordan Matthews. And Matthews is tackled down after a gain of five. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. Get ready. From the gun. Miles Eagles. For the score. They take the lead here late in the first quarter with the touchdown. Yeah, nothing like it. Before that first quarter was up, they found a way to get in the end zone and get that score to take the lead. And hey, that's a good feeling. The Eagles for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. The 
Eagles now ready to kick the football down the field. Jackson's got a chance to return this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Redskins didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic, wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but yeah, that was pretty easy. You see zone defenses throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. That pass play picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. And Morris is handed the football. Taken down at the 33. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Third down. The Eagles with two extra defensive backs in the dime. And he comes down. No, the defender tips it out. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football ball is incomplete. The Redskins call for the punt. And a touchback. The Redskins' defense had no answers on the last series. Jim, you are completely right there. They couldn't stop anything, the run or the pass. So you got to go to the sideline and regroup and say, we, gotta, we need a better effort to stop that offense. First down at the 20. The screen. This will be second down. Let's go. Press the hip. Hand off made. Running backs in the NFL now, it's hard to bring them down. That time, nice job of breaking the tackle. And that will close out the first quarter in Philadelphia. We'll return in just a moment. Snickers, you're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. The Eagles on offense here to start the second quarter. Now looking at third down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Murray's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. The Redskins defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The Eagles have it at the 34. Murray's hit and brought down. Give him a couple of yards. Murray's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Now they'll try over again on second down. 
Dropping back now into the shotgun. Hurts with the catch. That's a gain of six. The Eagles do a really good job this time on offense. The quarterback throws the ball short. They pick up a few yards, and now it makes third down much easier. This is third down. Let's go. To the ground. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Murray's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. First down at the 46. Catch made by Riley Cooper. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Get ready. Hey. Very nearly intercepted. Well, you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field, play tight man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. This will be the eighth play of this drive. The Redskins defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. That's reception number two for him. If you got a defensive back that's scared to death and, and not going to give up the big play, you've got to run things like this. The out route, nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. Set up now at the 37. Let's go. Now first and 10. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Defense. Automatic first down. They come to the line and it's first down. Let's see how they back up the big play Let's here. Go. Takes it from the gun. Austin is the receiver. That's a gain of 10. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. Let's go. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Murray's marked down after a gain of four. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it. He runs it across. Touchdown. They continue to add to their lead, Phil, late in the second quarter. And so far, there's been no looking back. Yeah, it's all working on the offensive side. And listen, don't, don't take this for granted. Stay aggressive. Keep putting the throw the keep throwing that gas on the fire. Pedal to the metal. Whatever cliche you want to use, use it and keep the pressure on. Extra point was good. Ready to return the kick. And as he takes a knee, Griffin will now bring his offense onto the field. 
the Redskins are experiencing a little bit of a drought here offensively, having gone three straight possessions without a score. What do you think needs to be done to buck that trend here, partner? I'd say it's a little more than a drought. This is some awful offense, and there's many things you've got to do. You've got to tell your offensive line to pick things up. When the offensive line is aggressive, it gives all the stars a chance to succeed, and that's what they got to do here. Offensive line, get it going. First down at the 20. And Barwin gets to the ball carrier on the outside. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down coming up. And now on the draw. And Morris is tackled down at the 24. Boy, there's nothing like a draw play. It just catches a defense by surprise. And running backs, they love it because they know they have a chance to get some easy yards. It'll be third down. Midway, second quarter. Stands in the pocket. Deshaun Jackson has the catch. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. Sproles from the 21, and that's a gain of nine. As we get ready to start this drive, partner, talk about the main reasons why this offense has been able to stake themselves to this lead early. Well, it always starts with the offensive line performing well. Then you get an offensive coordinator that has confidence in the plays he's called, so he lets it go, and we're seeing tremendous play from the quarterback. First down at the 29. For about four. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Murray's tried to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short gain. Second and six coming up. The Redskins come out in a dime package. The Eagles take it from the 33. And that's a gain of maybe five. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The Eagles take it from the 38. Murray's hit and brought down after a gain of about six yards. Murray's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third and short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. The Eagles have it at the 44. Murray's taking it on the screen. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Quarterbacks love throwing the football on first down. Usually, it's the easiest defense to throw against. They do a nice job that time. They get some good yards, and it's almost a first down. Get ready. From the gun. Catch made out to Riley Cooper. D'Angelo Hall makes the hit. You look at this offense right now. They've got a quarterback who's moving the football through the air, and that's a big reason why they're leading this game. That's right. That's why they're leading the game. Boy, I'd hate to be a defensive back out there today. The wide receivers are good. The quarterback is hot. They've got awesome rhythm, and that's why they're playing so well. First down and 10. Matthews has the catch. There's a flag right there. Offense. 
And the illegal block in the back is going to move this team back. Yeah, you know, Jim, the rule of thumb here is if you can read the name on the back of the jersey, don't block it. The line of scrimmage is the 38-yard line. The Eagles come out with a split backfield. First down at the 38. Murphy's there to make the tackle. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. screen still powering ahead Murray's tackle right at the 28 the offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive we're getting close to the two-minute warning time for one more play halftime is coming up but first we reach the two-minute warning We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. Third down on the way. The Eagles will look to get to the 21 to extend the drive and pick up a first from the shotgun. A near interception that time by Hall. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. He called the right defensive play. The defender's in position and knocks down that third down throw. The kick is good. How important was it, Bill, to add another three to the lead before the intermission? And you got to look at the team that's trailing right now. You've got to go in at halftime and change what you're doing. Because what you've been doing so far, it hasn't worked. The Redskins ready to return the kick. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. Here's Alfred Morris returning to the field. They've fallen behind here, and maybe it has something to do with the fact that he hasn't really been able to do anything on the ground at this point. Oh, I think it's everything to do with why they're behind in this game so far here today, Jim. And listen, the coach has got to call some different plays. What they've been running has not worked. Time for a different look. Griffin's back in shotgun formation. The grab by Roberts. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. The Redskins take it from the 28. Griffin over to Reed. First down. Offense readying for the snap. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Looking at every option. Tried to find his target over the middle, but that pass goes incomplete. Offside. Defense. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. First and five. And Griffin's pass will go incomplete. That's second down coming up. The Eagles lined up in the nickel. Dropping back three. And Griffin's pass will go incomplete. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Third down at five. Brings it into his body. The Eagles are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Back out there for action after that defensive timeout. 
all set to punt here. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Eagles have been a completely different team offensively here in the second quarter, and they've started to open up a nice lead. Yeah, got to give the coaches a lot of credit, Jim. They changed their strategy on the offensive side. They gave the players a better chance, and the players have taken advantage of those situations. First down at the 20. Murray's the receiver on the screen. Breaks free, and that's a gain of 10. Second down after that pass play. The Redskins will come out in the dime. Murray on the screen. A gain of 10. Let's go. Let's go. The Eagles will take the snap from the 40. He'll throw it over the middle. And it's in the hands of Zach Ertz. The Eagles are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Offense ready to play after calling a timeout. Coming to the line at the 37. This play set up by the long gainer. Get ready. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. A near interception that time by Hall. That time the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. from the 37. Takes the hit and throws. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. Let's go. Right. The Eagles from the 37. Offense back on the field here for this fourth and ten play. The Eagles need to get to the 27 to pick up a first. The Eagles with no timeouts left. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. Comes up short. Jackson brought down after picking up 14 on the play. Well, it was a long field goal attempt. But this time, they're unable to come up with any points at all. Yeah, and when you get in situations like this, everything has to be perfect. The snap, the hold, and the kick, and it wasn't, and that's why they missed the field goal. Garcon's been way less of a factor in the passing game today than we're accustomed to. Maybe this is the drive that he gets things started. Yeah, you're right, Jim. I think everybody's hoping for that, that he'll pick up this play and just help everybody on the offensive side. Not doing a good job. He just hasn't been crisp running his routes, and when you're not crisp running your routes, hard to get open. Personal foul, face mask, defense. 
Boy, if his head got oh, yanked no, back down. the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. He's wide open for the grab. The Redskins signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. The Redskins all bunched up here as they get set at the line. First down at the 43. Deshaun Jackson on the receiving end. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. And here we have second down. halftime report the Eagles are looking good right now as they will just try to keep up the good work in the second half the Redskins are coming off a bad game and they haven't been able to get out of that funk here today all right let's roll those highlights Redskins have it midway through one Garcon's by himself here and he'll be tackled at their own 39 yard line Eagles have it on second and five Austin's wide open here on the catch, and he caps off the seven play drive with the score. That takes the lead up to seven. Eagles take it at the one. Sproles is going to stay between the tackles, and finally on play 12, they score. That puts them on top by 14. Now to late in the first half. Quick pass and catch by Zach Ertz, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the 37 yard line. So that's going to wrap up our halftime report. We'll get you back out to Lincoln Financial Field where Jim Nance and Phil Sands are on the call. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field and we're about to get the second half started. Sproles has got it. Shakes off the tackle. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Eagles come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. It's rolling now as he takes the snap. That's dropped by Ertz, who couldn't bring it in. Got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. The Eagles at the line of scrimmage, split backfield. Let's go. The Eagles will take the snap from the 25. Darren Sproles makes the catch. <laughs> this is a tough situation for the offense. Third and long coming up, but it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game, so there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over. Loss of four on the play. Third and a long way to go. Austin's got it on a pass that had some heat. That's reception number four for him. The Eagles put themselves in a terrible situation. Third and long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. First down on the way. Here's the first snap after the big play. Out wide to Cooper. And it's batted down. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage that time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it 
is to man up and play him one on one. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Second and ten. DeMarco Murray gets the handoff. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Get ready. The Eagles take it from the 43. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. He's now got 70-plus yards on the ground. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art that this team is good at. First down at the 38. And that's a two-yard game. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Murray's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run. But there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second down and eight. Darren Sproles takes the football. And that'll gain just a few yards. Sproles never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The Eagles come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, you just get tired of sending four, three, or four players at the quarterback in passing situations. So this time, the defensive coordinator sends the blitz, and they are up for it. They get to the QB and get a sack. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Redskins, Bill, what's the issue with this team? This offense specifically, three straight drives without a score. Well, Jim, I'd say this. It's bad coaching. I, I just hate what they're trying to do on the offensive side to not put their players in position to give them a chance to compete against this defense. They've got to, they've got to change things up, give their offense a chance, and give these players a chance. First down at the 20. And Morris has got it on the handoff. Morris is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. After running it, it's second down. And Morris is taking the handoff. Morris is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. After that last carry, it's third and three. The Eagle sat at the line. Dime package. Gets it again. Horses looking for a place to run, but there is nowhere to go. The offensive line just gets dominated. Good job by the defensive line that time. They're in punting formation. There's a flag out. Keeps his legs moving. Sproles is met after a gain of eight. It's an illegal block in the back, and the coaching staff cannot be happy about this. No, it's a bad decision, and most of all, it's dangerous. You can hurt players when you block them like that. The Redskins go with the dime formation here on defense. First and ten. Matthews with the reception. That's another reception. Give him two. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field 
is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. The pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. And the give now to DeMarco Murray. Tackled at the 29-yard line. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. I guess you'd say he's like a quarterback. You can't complete them all. And this, this running back, he can't make every run spectacular. Nowhere to go. So only gets a couple yards this time. Third down and one. Handoff. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. He just shows no signs of slowing down, does he, Jim? He's the top rusher of the NFL so far this year. And once again today, he is making it happen. Beautiful run for big yards. First and ten. And Matthews is ready to run off the screen. Gains five. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. The Redskins with a nickel look Get here ready. on defense. Sproles. And that'll be a gain of about two. Sproles is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back. When there's nowhere to go, hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. After that last carry, it's third and three. The Eagles line up, split backfield. He'll keep it on the play fake. The reception is made by Murray. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. The fake is on, and they're looking to pick up the first. Hey, good job by the coach that time. If he has the courage to make this call, I give him all the credit because that call took some courage. It's a two tight end formation. First down at the 48. Another carry here. Riley's the one who brings him to the ground. Well, not many yards get there on that play, but it doesn't matter. What a day and what a job this running back is, is done here. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Well, let's go. Murray. Robinson's all over that offense and brings him down. Redskins defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. The Redskins with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Clay clock's running down out of the shotgun formation. Two hands on the football and has the catch. That's his fourth catch of the day. And take a look at the numbers, and you can see the difference here, by and large, has come down to the passing attack. It has. They, I think the coaches realized early the quarterback was hot. So what did they do? They kept giving him the football, and he kept moving it down the field. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Johnson's going to make the tackle. One quarter to go, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. We've got a blowout of the making. Breaking huddle at the 23 yard line. Let's go. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Right back to him. And he gains maybe three. Offense. 
the defense will take the penalty. The Eagles are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. The Eagles will take the snap from the 30. Murray with the reception. Murray's hit and brought down after a gain of about 10. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Second down and seven. They go screen with Sproles. Going to be a penalty here. It's an illegal block in the back, and they now will be backed up some yardage. Yes, always remember as a blocker, you need to get your head in front of the defender, and you've got to get your front shoulder in front also to make it legal. The Redskins defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Sproles is tackled down after a gain of seven. The Redskins are behind right now, and you see the numbers are giving up a lot of yardage on the ground, and it stands out because it's so out of character for this unit. The tempo of this game is being set by the offensive side, the way they are running. They got all the situations in their favor, and the defense can't get them in those obvious passing situations. That's his fifth catch of the day. to go from the one to makes the catch in the end zone touchdown tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line they're able to maneuver inside easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score the Eagles for the extra point and the extra point is good the Redskins now have even more work to do to get back into this one the scores 24 to 0 the Redskins ready to return the kick He's got a chance to return this one. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Redskins offense has been nowhere in sight here for quite a while. Three consecutive drives that have come away empty. What about it, Phil? That is the old phrase, MIA. They are definitely missing in action because there's no action on the offensive side. It's time for the quarterback to call the right plays and help his team out and get this thing moving. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. The Redskins did a good job that time throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards. Now second and short really puts the defense in a tough position. Griffin's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Second and two. The defense gets the sack. Oh, there's nothing worse as a quarterback to have pressure up the middle from an interior defensive tackle. Uh, hard to see down the field, can't make a decision, and that time it leads to a sack. Griffin's got it in the gun. This play will hold up. He's inbounds. That's another reception, giving him two. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. The Eagles' defense now is going to go nickel. RG3 from the gun. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. 
that play is going to be challenged. So the coach's challenge backfires. They'll lose the timeout, and they fail to overturn the call on the field. You know what you do in situations like this? You fire the guy upstairs who told him, throw the flag, coach. Well, what do you got to say now? It was a terrible call, terrible decision, and you lose a timeout. First down here after the completion. Griffin from the gun. away the Redskins at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation second down and ten throws the pass balls loose that brings the play to an end Nice job by the offense that time, even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Redskins need to get to the 42 for the first down. Third and five. Garcon has the catch. You play this uh, cover three defense. Just kind of sit back there and try not to give up the big play. That is great. The problem is you give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slant pattern at time? Rippins. Graham wraps up the quarterback. Oh, man. Defensive coordinators love this when you can hit. Or this time they sack the quarterback without even blitzing. The lineman tries to plead his case, but it looks like a false start. False start, offense. Second down here. Griffin by himself in the backfield. Snap it out of the gun. Catch made. Mark him down for another reception. Things haven't changed from when I played till now. With its own coverage, quarterbacks, offensive coordinator, and receivers, they expect a completed pass, and that's what they got in this last play. Nothing drives a coach crazier than a false start penalty. False start offense. Third down after the penalty. RG3 out of the pistol. Looking across the middle, it's Garcon. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. Griffin's the one who is down and will step aside for just a moment. We'll head back to the field now. Danielle Bellini is working to get us an update on that injury as soon as possible. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. McCoy is standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. It's Andre Roberts on the receiving end. Watkins is in on the tackle. The defense has a lead here in the fourth quarter, Jim, so they're willing to give up those short completions. Now it's up to the defense. Come up, make the tackle. Good job that time. Mounting a serious drive. The Redskins come out in a bunch set. Green, 
Drop back, shotgun formation. And Morris has got the catch and the first. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. McCoy's lined up, two tight ends set. First down and 10. Gets the handle here. Jones is brought down after picking up only a yard. The Redskins trail and truly look out of sorts on offense, Phil. They love to run the football, but haven't been able to today. Well, they love controlling the tempo of the game, and you can do that when you run the football because you can take your time. It eats up the clock. You get a lot of good situations in your favor. Now we're going to see if this offense can work out of its comfort zone and still get it done. Well, Jim, that's a tough play call right here. Running the football when you're down multiple scores here late in the game. You only pick up a couple yards. I don't think you can afford uh, to make those kind of decisions. Out of the shotgun. McCoy's off the mark there. Incomplete. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Well, it was a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. That's a timeout call. The Redskins now, no doubt, will onside kick it. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. A lot of things have to go wrong in any game for it to be this one-sided. But you look at the matchup at running back, and it's certainly just one more thing that stands out. Yeah, when you run the football well, we all know you control the tempo of the game, and also you get in all the situations that favor your offense and your defense. That's why they're blowing the other team out. Let's the Eagles back. come out in a jumbo set. And it's knocked out. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. The Redskins defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The Eagles will take the snap from the 45. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. The Eagles have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Murray's been a consistent force on the ground. Yeah, he's just a running back who never gives up. And when he runs, it's arms, elbows, everything is moving. And he is one tough running back to tackle. Third and five. Darren Sproles with the catch. Sproles is marked down after a gain of four. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL. And they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Didn't have the distance. Interesting little chess match game here as they miss the long field goal and set up the opponents now with an excellent starting point. Anytime you talk about a long field goal, it's 50-50 it's at best. That time, the mechanics of the situation were not perfect. Doesn't look like a good hold, and that's why they missed. Jenkins has been a huge contributor to this defensive effort that has been stifling all day long as he heads back out there now. They're almost ready to close the books on this one. Oh, man, go out here. What a time. Enjoy the day. You know, there's no pressure on them now in this last part of the game. Just enjoy what you've done because you did it very well. First down at the 42. And methodically, he just throws it away. 
Second down. Jim, here in the fourth quarter, when you're down, what you want to do is just keep that football moving. That time it's a short throw, he gets the completion. Good job. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. They still face third and six, even after that last successful pass play. Boy's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Tries to get the feet down, but this will be ruled incomplete. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. That's a false start. False start. Offense. Going for it on fourth down. The Redskins come to the line. First down marker is at the 48. The Redskins snap it at the 41. Andre Roberts with the reception. No, 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 no. Check. Patriots. Patriots. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. McCoy is going to take it from the gun. Down. The Eagles lined up in the nickel. Got a flag. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. At the 30-yard line, here comes the snap. Uh, here you go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Second down and five. Incompletion here as he was looking over the middle. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it. What a job of them. Probably should have had that one, but it goes incomplete. Williams is going to go back to the huddle and look at all his teammates and go, my bad. Well, they know that you were bad. Everybody, even the offensive linemen, they saw you were open and you dropped the pass that was right to you. But, hey, that's the way it goes. You know, you got to keep the confidence up. I think he will. And I'm sure the football will find its way towards him again soon. The Redskins will take the snap from the 30. The Redskins turn the ball over on down. Good cornerbacks become great cornerbacks when you have a defense that can sack the quarterback without blitzing. Good job by the defense. The Eagles' offense takes the field and what is, in essence, an encore foul to the crowd here as they have been the dominant team all game long and time is running out. This is when I was at my best when I played, Jim. When we were winning, I came out there late in the game too. I could kneel down and kill the clock as good as any quarterback in history. The Redskins with a nickel look here on defense. First down at the 47. And look out, it's Sproles with the catch. That's Goldson making the stop. You have to like what this team has done today, passing the football. It's been their identity this season, and that continues here today. Yeah, he's like, a, listen, this quarterback is a lot like a pitcher. Some days he'll beat you with the fastball. The next day it's the breaking ball, and that's what he can do, too. He beats you with power or finesse. It doesn't matter. The Eagles have turned things around on the ground this week, Phil. Murray's back to his normal running ways. Well, the NFL is all about matchups, and last week matchup was not good when it comes to running the football. It favors them today, and they are getting it done.
nothing like being a little greedy in this league as the win streak adds another victory to the column. Oh, you're right there. When you're talking about winning, everybody wants to be greedy. And there's a reason why they're winning. They're hitting more than the other team. They're hitting harder. They want it more. And a lot of times, will has a lot to do with the outcome of NFL games. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.